In order to create a link that forces a copy to a document or a slide presentation, you want to go up to share and get the shareable link. It should be view only. Copy the link. Click done. I'm going to go ahead and open a Google Doc and paste the link in the doc so that you can see exactly how you edit the link. So once the document's open, just go ahead and paste it. Or if it's in an email, you just paste it. Right here where you see the word edit, this word has to be changed to copy. Even though it's view only, that word edit is still there. So you just change the word to copy. And let's go ahead and copy the link. And I usually test it out. So I'm going to go ahead to my personal account where I can open an incognito window and paste that link in there. And it works because it's asking me to sign in. So it's forcing the copy. The other thing that you can do, which um, not a lot of people know how to do, is you can also make that same link where it says copy. OK. You can type in template preview. So if it's something you want someone filling in, it will show up as a template. And then there's a button that asks them if they want to use the template. So this is another way. So let me show you this one. Just open a new tab. Paste that in there. Now this one isn't something that has uh, a table or something where they would fill information in. But for example, if it was a hyperdoc um, or an attachment to a hyperdoc, you can see right here where it says use template. And then the person would simply click there and it would make an identical copy that they could edit. So this would be more um, if you wanted them to be filling information in, whereas copy is just making a copy of the presentation or the infographic or the resource, whatever it is you want them to have a copy of. So that's how you edit the link to in the share box for force copy and a template.